So we're at a handover day down at one of our jobs in Woolaware. I just thought I'd bring you around and show you what we actually do before handover and the depth we go to with our defecting. One thing that we've got a great reputation for is having zero defects when we hand over a job. So we try and go through the whole house to the nth degree and find every little defect and fix it. You know, a lot of people come through our developments when we're finished and we've got a great reputation for a high standard and there's zero defects on our, in our product. So I wanna show you how we get to that and the detail we go to to make sure we hand over a perfect product. Okay, so obviously building in 12 weeks, there's a lot of trades on site and everything gets dirty. So as you can see, this is the entry and this cladding is already really dirty. So what we do is go through on our final day and we clean it all. If it doesn't clean off, we'll just repaint it all. So to be honest, the last day we pretty much repaint the whole house. Okay, here we are on the patio. Um, as you can see, it's a really nice black butt deck, but every board that we put down, there's small amounts of defects as, as we're putting them down. We go through at the end with a Festool sander and get rid of all the, the chatter on the dodgy boards. So as you can see, this board's got a bit of a defect. We go through the whole deck and we'll find anywhere that we can see a defect and sand it again. You can see there's chips there. If we can't fix it, we'll then take the board out and change it. The painter has got paint splatters on our fresh bare stone cladding. So obviously that's a defect. We need to clean all that off. So the kitchen guys forgot to cork his poly panel to the Ziproc wall. So that's a defect. One thing's important when handing over a job to test everything. Make sure everything actually works. So one thing when defecting Ziproc and, and paint work, you have to do it at different times of the day. So you've got to come in the morning, in the afternoon, and then at night with a torch you get all different lights hitting walls. So the last thing we want to do is hand over a job. They turn the lights on at night and see little defects everywhere. So if you test it morning, afternoon, midday and night, you normally get a perfect finish on every wall. My pet hate. <laughs> the police come and do this and then they don't paint inside there. I'll put a cover thing inside. So you can see the raw timber inside the thing. That's definitely a defect. Another thing you'll notice with these strikers See this one, that's, that's a pretty rough carpentry job. So we're gonna have to pull that off, repatch it, redo all that to get a neat finish. With the matte black stuff, you do get scratching. So something to be wary of. It's a safer option to use the stainless steel, but the matte black does suit this house a lot. So that's why we've gone with it. But in my opinion, that's terrible carpentry. So we're gonna fix that up. Here in the main bathroom, as you can see the bath the window, everything's nice and centered. So you've got the same gaps, window hard to the ceiling again. And one thing that's important, I won't show you now, but we've done it earlier, is to bucket test the floor to make sure no water ponds behind the bath. Because obviously kids in the bath are gonna splash everywhere and you don't want water ponding and getting moldy in the corners. So it's good to put the bath in and then bucket test it. When handing over a job, one really important thing is to make sure it's all compliant. If a kid was to fall down here or um, you know, elderly people walking up the stairs, it's really important that we're, we're covered and we've done everything properly. Um, and also to get an OC, an occupancy certificate, everything has to be compliant. Handrail has to be good, balustrades, stairs. They check every single riser to make sure they're all exactly the same and we haven't gone over the tolerance. That's extremely important for us, obviously building over 30 of these a year. If, if we don't check compliance, we'd be, we'd be in trouble. We do a check and adjust at the end of the job. So we use Hanlon windows for most of our, our jobs um, and they do uh, an aftercare. Um, so they'll come do a check and adjust, make sure everything works properly. But they'll also come back after six to 12 months and do a final adjust of everything. Once you've moved in, you've used all the doors, you've used all the louvers, and just make sure everything's still running. Polished concrete something we really pride ourselves on to get a really high standard on the finish of it. 